Hello there, beautiful ones, and thank you for deciding to join us in Cutting the Ties That Bind. I just wanted to chime in here and speak a little bit into what you can expect from our cut and in terms of your preparation for this very powerful process that we will be undertaking together. So as you read in the information that I've already sent to you and in our um, invitation, you'll know that you can never cut from love. And that's really important for you to remember that when we are liberating ourselves from these sticky webs, from these cords, these attachments to either people or belief systems um, of our past, then we are only liberating ourselves and them and the situation from anything that may be adversely affecting or draining our energy in any way or keeping us locked in old grooves of the past. So when we liberate those ties through the process that we're going to do together, and this is very different to any cutting process I'm sure that you've probably ever done before. It's not just a cord cutting. This is a psychological process where we actually go in and talk to the subconscious mind in a way that it can really understand using shapes um, and images and symbols. And there's, a, there's a, something that you need to follow during the week, which I'm gonna to explain to you on our first call. As I mentioned, it's not big, it's only gonna take about four minutes of your day, but there is a process. So we need to be clear about who or what we are cutting from. Now, please don't worry if you're not sure or if you have questions about this, because on our first call together, I will explain to you in detail. I'm also gonna take you through a process for you to get really clear, to let your subconscious mind tell you who it is, what it is you really need to cut for and, uh, from. And often it's something or someone different to what your conscious mind actually thought. So don't worry about it too much. We're gonna go into that. There'll also be a time and space for you in that call to ask any questions that you have, knowing that your questions will most likely be the question that somebody else is asking as well. So you don't need to worry about that too much. Just give some thought about where are you losing your energy? Where do you feel that perhaps there is a pattern of behavior, a thought, perhaps something that you're continuously looping on um, that it has been hindering you in your life? Often it's something that you've done a lot of work with, you know, a lot of conscious processing using different modalities, but you can't quite get to the core or to the seed of what it is. And often these have come through mother lines and through father lines. So it's a really good idea actually to cut the ties that bind to your parents, even if you have an amazing relationship with your parents. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my process of cutting with my mum when we come together on our call. So some people wonder, well, you know, the belief system is often inherited through a person, right? Because nothing belongs to us. Everything has been given to us from someone else as it was given to them somewhere along the line. So sometimes it can be very clear. Sometimes you can be running a belief like um, a something around perfectionism, I'm not good enough, um, money is always scarce for me, it's not spiritual to have money. You know, there's so many different, I mean, choose which one, there's millions of them of limiting beliefs. And you may have an idea where that's come from. Perhaps it has come through a parent, perhaps it has come through a past relationship that you can consciously remember, or maybe it's something that has come in at a time in this lifetime or even in another lifetime that has just developed. It's something that you've practiced, it's something that you've told yourself and you might not have an idea where it's come from. So in that case, we're cutting from a belief. If you're pretty clear about where that belief, the seed of that belief is, then perhaps it's cutting from that person. It can also be um, past sexual partners is a really good one. Um, I love this. I'm actually running that cut right now as we speak. And it's very, very powerful as we take on the energy fields of everybody that we've had intimate relationship with. So we can cut in that way from past sexual partners. Perhaps there's a particular past relationship. Often these things will show up in our dreams. Like even if we think that we've got it on the, on the, um, on the surface, on the conscious level, it shows us that we're not quite there yet because it continues to show up in the dream time. So I'm gonna let you contemplate that and sit with that and have a feel into uh, what you're releasing yourself from. It can even be that you're beginning a relationship, say a business partnership, for example, with somebody and there's something there that needs resolving. And maybe it's helpful, it's definitely helpful, to clear all of that energetic um, stickiness away before we move forward from with them. Remembering you can never cut from love, you can only strengthen the bonds 
tons of love during this process. So have a feel into it. As I said, uh, we will go more deeply into it. Have any questions that you um, would like to ask ready to ask on the call. Uh, we will also set you up in your support group, which will begin from um, after the first call. And I look forward to seeing you in our first ceremony on February the 27th. You have your time zones there. Remembering that um, you will have a replay of the ceremony that will be valid for 24 hours uh, after the first call and after the second call. And why? Because for us to do this process in one week, normally it takes two weeks to complete this process if we were doing it one on one. But as we are working in such a powerful collective group field, group energy, it powers the process along much more quickly. So it means that we can do it in a week, but it has to be done within 24 hours so that we are all in that collective field together and nobody's hanging out there on their own, okay? So you'll have 24 hours to repeat the opening, 24 hours after that to repeat the closing, no problem at all. If you're able to attend the first live ceremony, uh, but you can't attend the second, no worries. You can absolutely continue to do the cut for eight days instead of seven. In fact, that's great. And then you can repeat the, um, you can do the final process uh, within that 24 hour period, okay? So I'm gonna explain more about it to you on the call, but that's some information to get you going. All right, see you next week. Uh, all my love, take it easy, bye for now.